Hi, this is Tony Messer here at PickerWeb, and in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between shared hosting and reseller hosting. Okay, so most people will be familiar with the concept of shared hosting. And basically, shared hosting means that you are allocated a certain amount of space on a, on a server um, that's located in a data center. And this is where you can host your websites, your emails, and that type of, of thing. So if you're new to hosting, that's probably the best option for you because you get some space which you can then use to publish your website or maybe use a website builder. You can create your email addresses, you get a control panel, so you're totally in control. And that's the option that most people will use. However, reseller hosting, this is if you need to set up uh, multiple accounts, usually for different customers. An example of somebody that might need a reseller account is someone who provides maybe web design services or somebody who just has um, a number of different businesses and they just want to keep them all um, separate. So what happens with reseller hosting is you're given um, a bulk amount of space which you can then allocate up as you wish um, to for your customers or for your websites. And the beauty of reseller hosting is that each of the accounts gets their own control panel login. And this way, if you have customers, for example, you can almost become like a web hosting company at a very, very low cost. And you can give your customers a professional hosting solution with their own control panel, with their, they can set up their email addresses, they can even use a website builder maybe, they can create databases, absolutely everything. So you, as a reseller, are then able to resell that space on, um, at a profit, onto your customers. So there are a couple of things to uh, take into account with a reseller account. Um, one of the great things is that you can set up, for example, um, different packages. Let's say you wanted to have a bronze, uh, a silver, and a gold, and you can just set these up. And we don't, um, we don't sort of uh, say to you there are any limits on the way that you do that. Let's say that you uh, you want to set up one where you give people one gigabyte of space. You know, you can set up as many accounts as you want, and as long as in total your customers aren't using up all of um, the space in the reseller account, then you'll be absolutely fine. So it gives. You you, as I say, the ability to set up different plans and present yourself to your customers as a professional hosting company. Now, all of the um, uh, everything on the, on the on the server will be all backed up, and you get full 24-hour support. The only thing that we would say is that you are responsible for the first line support of your customers. If you have a problem um, that you can't solve, then obviously come back to our support guys. They're there 24 seven. The support team is there to support you and make sure that you get the most out of your reseller account. Okay, so the, the main difference then is shared hosting is normally for um, a business or an individual, a home user who just wants to set up maybe one or two websites, whereas a reseller account is where you want to maybe offer that type of hosting service to your customers. It gives you much more flexibility over that. Okay, hope that was useful and uh, thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.